All right, so we have uh, most of our scripting done. We have the snake moving. We have the collision functionality. We have the food being randomly placed in the canvas uh, when it's when it collides. So now what we need to do is a is a very important uh, function, and that's to add key uh, keyboard controller. All right, so basically we're going to use the up, down, right, and left arrow keys to maneuver this snake. Okay, so let's go back into our scripts.js file and we want to go under the check collision code and we're going to create create a keyboard controller alright so basically um, we're going to use jQuery here alright so we're going to say document document dot key down Alright, so basically whenever we tap a key, um, we want to run this anonymous function. Okay, and this function is going to take an event parameter, so we'll call it E. And we're going to set, we're going to create a variable called key and set that equal to E dot which. Basically, this e dot which um, is for key and mouse events, and it indicates the specific key or specific button that was pressed. Okay, so that's what we'll use to figure out which key the user is pressed. Now, each key, when you press a key, it has a certain key code. All right, so it has a it has a number um, that is attached to it. All right, so ex for example the left arrow key its code is number 37 alright so let's go ahead and we're basically it's simple logic we're gonna see which key the user presses and then we're gonna set the direction variable to uh, either up down right or left alright so let's say if uh, we're gonna say if key is equal to 37 all right so 37 is the left arrow key and we're also going to throw in an and and we're going to say direction uh, and direction is not is not equal to right all right and then basically we're just going to declare D to equal left okay so by default, if we go back up here, you can see that uh, the direction uh, default is right. Okay, and that's what's making the snake go to the right right here. All right, so let's go back down here. So now under here, we're just going to add some else if statements. All right, so we're going to say else if the key variable is equal to 38 and D is um, not equal to down then D is going to equal up alright so 38 is the code for the up arrow and I'm just going to copy this alright so 38 and then 39 uh, 39 we're going to say as long as D is not equal to left then it's going to be equal to right alright and then finally we have 40 and as long as it's not equal to up then D will be equal to down. All right, so let's test the keyboard controller. If we reload, all right, so down, right, up, left. All right, so that's working good. Okay, so it eats the food. 
All right, so it's getting longer as it eats the food, so it looks good. All right, so I will let it end. Um, okay. All right, now something's going on here, and I think I know what it is. We were navigating around, and we, we, we were going left when we hit this wall, and the game restarted, and it seems to still be going left. All right, so we need to declare it as right in our init function. Okay, so init, let's say uh, D. We're going to set D to right. All right, so we'll try this again. Okay, so we're gonna hit the left wall, and there we go. It's going right when we start the game. All right, so we're pretty much there except for the scores. Okay, so we gotta implement the scoring system. So let's go back to our script. Not only the scoring, but we want, uh, when we lose, when we hit the edge, we want that overlay to pop up and we want the game to stop. We don't want to just keep restarting it. So to stop it from restarting, we want to go to our collision code. Okay, so right here. And let's just, uh, let's comment the init out. Okay, so now if we reload and we hit the edge, it just stops. Okay, so that's what we want. And let me just get rid of this. That's the finished one. All right. Now let's try, let's see if we can actually just alert the score when we crash. So this is the score variable. Okay, let's reload. Crash, zero. All right, so let's. get one and make sure that it says one. Oh, all right, so that's not good. The snake shouldn't, it should uh, hit the bottom and stop, but it just keeps going. Uh, let's try the right. All right, so we're good on the top left and right, but the bottom Something's going on with the bottom. All right, so I think I think this has to do with the uh, dimensions of the canvas. All right, the 600, 400. I'm gonna actually move this, change this to 450. And it just has to do with the the uh, yeah. All right, so that works. All right, so what we want to do now is go to the collision code. And instead of alerting, what we want to do is um, insert the score into that the final score div, which is this span tag. Okay, so um, yeah, so we can do that. Insert final score. Uh, and we'll use jQuery. We'll get that uh, final score div or span. And we can insert um, the score in there using the HTML method. So score. And we also, right now, how it is, the, the overlay div, um, this this overlay div is hidden with our CSS, so we just want to show that. And we can do that easily. Okay, so we'll grab it with jQuery. Overlay. And let's have it fade in instead of just popping up. So we'll say fade in. Okay, and the speed we'll say 300. All right, so let's check that out. Uh, what looks like something's going on with the background. Oh, all right, never mind. OK, 
Okay, so let's just grab this piece of food and then we'll end the game.